for sure. No, oh, yes, Striker, it's him, all right. If you take two men around the back... Oh, and I know what I'm doing. You're just an observer. Stay out of this. Today, President Reagan pledged his support for Prime Minister Thatcher's action over sanctions. France. In an area outside Paris, NATO intelligence forces continue to search for the terrorist known as Phoenix. The hunt for the man, believed to be responsible for at least nine political assassinations, is led by Colonel Alex Stryker. Delta team, Delta team. Stand firm. Stand firm. Bravo team, move up. Bravo team, move up. Christ, he's seen us. Go, go! Sorry, I didn't realize you were taking an early lunch. Late breakfast, actually. Chopsticks. They say it's the air you take in with each mouthful. Apparently, it's why you always end up feeling hungry with Chinese food. What is it? Well, I'm not sure. Carson was doing his usual hacking on money movements in the Middle East, and there was one item he really had to chase around. One million US dollars goes out from Libya to an export company in Greece. Sure. Oh, thank you. A blip later, one mil goes out from Greece to holding bank in Cairo, except they don't hold it. Seconds later, same amount transfers to Bangkok, and from there it goes on to Bonn. Where does it finish up? Swiss number to count. Ah. Well, in that case, it's probably a tax evasion, or it could be drugs. However, a million dollars is the going rate, so you better contact Washington and Tokyo. Alert our people as well, all right? Right. For what, sir? Intercontinental hit. Jennifer, we're home. Right. sure we can't lend you some money. Well, I know what it's like to lose your credit cards. You can mail it to us when you get to London. Oh, before you go, just one for the album. No. All right, coming. Pretty smooth crossing, eh? Do you have friends in England, or is this a business trip? Oh.
night, everybody. Have a peaceful one. Sir, about that million dollars. I hope this isn't going to take long. I've got a date. Oh. Yes. Even old folk like me have dates. What is it? We've been checking ATMB. Anything that might have bearing on usual incidents? Yes, well, that's the usual procedure. This happened down in Brighton earlier today, sir. A middle-aged couple coming back from a trip to France. That's it? No, their car was taken from the marina and then abandoned in London with a key still in it. So it's a police job. Except for two things, sir. He used a long barrel 9mm and high-charge S&B ammunition. Home load. Professional hitman stuff. Show it to me. Forensics just uh, dug these out of the victims. They said this kind of ammo hasn't been seen or made since the late 70s. All right, you said two things. What's the other? When he left the marina, he shot the parking attendant. Eliminating all witnesses. <laughs> all right. Call France and Germany. Get all information on any million-dollar hitmen they may have on their territory. Check on all the police traffic videos between Brighton and London. All of them? All of them. You think there's going to be a hit, sir? I don't know, I don't know. It's all strangely familiar. <laughs> High charge 9mm, cellular and belly up shells. Vicious killing of witnesses. Could almost be Phoenix. Phoenix? Before your time. The best. One of the very best. So let's check him out. Where is he? Pushing up daisies. Been dead nearly 20 years. All right, make the calls. Sir. What about your date, sir? Do you want me to call her, too? Don't be cheeky, Mr. Curtis. Just get me the telephone number of a late night florist. Sir. Maybe he's too clever for us. Maybe he used side roads. Maybe he is a she. Miss Bacchus, a person of either gender. Stop the tape. Take it back. All right, check the number. That's it. That's their car. Let's enhance it. to locate a Colonel Stryker, a correction, Senator Stryker. Yes, sir. Relax, me. I know it's hard, but try. It's been a long time. This safe house of yours hasn't been used in what? You need a drink. Go ahead. Touch me. I'm real. Flesh and blood. Just like I was all those years ago. Do you remember those times, Maggie? Well, now I need your help again. My help? Yeah. Just like before.
Excuse me. I'm looking for Matthew Forbes. Daniel Forbes? Over there. Thank you. Are you a relative? No, just a friend. I can't promise to recognize you. He's had another stroke, you know. General? General Forbes? These are from Paul. Paul Novak. Novak? Novak? Felix. Get them to trawl the net, too. Any scrap of information whatsoever. Anything on new political groupings, contracts, vendettas, anything, anything at all. You wanted Senator Stryker? Put him through on one. No, he's here in London, staying at the Mayfair. Let's go. Harry, it's been a long time. And you've climbed up the ladder, I hear. You too, Senator. Malone, I wish I wasn't so busy. There's nothing I'd like better than sitting down with a friend and talking about the old days. Ah, oh, yes, yes, the old days. That's why I'm here. Phoenix. Phoenix. It was a good day when we got rid of him. Did we get rid of him? You've lost me. Do you think he could have survived that night? Survived? I don't understand. You were there, you saw the whole thing. Yeah, but he was very good, wasn't he? Hmm? The best. Could he have survived that fire? He pulled his body out, for God's sake. You saw for yourself. Hey, body. Incinerated beyond recognition. Hey, just bear with me for a minute, please. Would it be possible that he had secreted a body in that house, a body that we were expected to find? The whole place was an inferno. Nobody could have lived through that. He might, he might. If there'd been a cellar, for instance, that we didn't know about, where he could have hidden? Impossible. Did you check out that house after the fire? Malone, what's this all about? Taken yesterday morning. Has to be fake. No, 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 real. It can't be him. He hasn't aged a day. Yes, think about that. If he did get out of that fire, he'd be badly burned, wouldn't he? Therefore, he would need plastic surgery. Did you check the house? Me? Hell, I was just point man on the attack. It was Forbes and Caden who pulled the strings. <laughs> Yes, top brass. They're both retired now, I think. Oh, excuse me. Yes? Thought you had a nurse, another unusual incident. General Forbes, XSAS, shot dead. Give me full information. Hold on! Stay with me! Building opposite, on the roof! He's there, get him!
Well, one of us got him. Well, where is he? Where'd he go? What would he do? Fly? There's no other way out of here. What is this guy? Well, he's no ghost. He still bleeds. Now the hands. Mm. They'll heal. You're lucky. Lucky? Intelligent. Elevator cables are greased. You get halfway down before you feel them burn. That sounds like the old phoenix talking. Always turning a defeat into a victory. First blood. All that matters is it's whose, whose blood, blood is spilled last. You're with me now, aren't you? With me all the way. Do I have a choice? Is that why he's here? Take revenge on all those who set him up. Two down, one to go. You located Commander Gaiden yet? We're still trying, sir. Aren't you at risk too, sir? One of the men who set him up? No, 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 no. I was junior, thank God. No, he wouldn't even know my name. This is ridiculous. We're talking about a dead man here. Maybe. There is one way to find out. Contact Air Force Group X. They'll have these two in France within the hour. Can you imagine Malone as a junior? Can you imagine the devil as a bouncing baby boy? <laughs> OK, stop. We're here. The ruin of the cabin should be right over there. I've been thinking, if we find a cellar somewhere where Phoenix could escape the fire, and if Malone's right about him having plastic surgery... He built over it. What was his real name again? Novak. Paul Novak. Come on. Where are we going? Ghost busting. Sir? The third man, Gaiden, he's on vacation somewhere in Greece. Contact every family member, every friend, acquaintance, and then check all travel agents. We already did. Commander Gaiden is the last one. Find him. We will. What you waiting for? Do you feel like Burke and Hare? Who? Burke and Hare, famous grave robbers. We're not robbing anything, just paying our respects. I've been thinking. It's a bad habit, Curtis. Give it up. The Air Force is standing by to fly us back for 4.30, right? Yeah, so? So? After this, we might have some spare time. For what? Cuisse de Renoui. You lost me. It's a restaurant. Four-star, two rosettes. The speciality of the house is meant to be magic. Oh, yeah? What is it? Well, the Cuisse de Renoui, of course. Don't you speak anything other than American? 
Queen's to call him we his frog legs, right? We. Oui. You're talking Kermit. <laughs> There's no way in a million years I'm eating any part of Kermit. You've had Miss Piggy with eggs, and as I recall, once a Bambi burger, so what's the difference? Kermit was part of my culture, that's what. Part of my growing up. Eating him would be like, kind of like biting into Emily Hazlitt. Who's Emily Hazlitt? She was part of my growing up, too. <laughs> yeah? Was she as good as Quist de Grand Oui? Here's your answer. With one bound, he was free? What's all that? Pieces of bone. What's wrong? Quick, left foot, what do you see? I don't move. Don't you even breathe. What is it? Personnel mine. The kind that hops up level with your manhood. Son of a bitch, Trent. Yeah, it makes you despair of human nature, doesn't it? Now, dead still, okay? Not one millimeter. What, you think I'm gonna do the conga? Bad news. It's tripped. And the next move it makes is upwards, and then it's bye-bye, baby maker. Great. I see it, we've got one chance. That's a relief. You haven't had the chance yet. I count to three. You lift your foot. I throw it out the door. We both go for the coffin. What kind of chance is that? 10%. Five. Look, if it doesn't work, I go with you. Shaxi you're making me feel all warm inside. You ready? As I'll ever be. See you in hell. You're right. Three, two, one. Yeah! Simple thank you would do. <laughs> Beer? Three. Yes, yes, I was aware that Stryker was a United States Senator, and I do know about General Forbes. This may come as a great surprise to you, but we are working on it. Damn, Yes? Gaden left Athens an hour ago. He's due at 3.45. I'll pick him up. Commander Gaydon? Who are you? Harry Malone sends his compliments, sir. He'd like to see you. Malone? CI-5. No, I know who he is. What's this about? Protection, sir. Protection? I don't need protection. Two of the men who set up Phoenix are dead. You're the third. I can take care of myself. That's for me to decide. Malone, may I remind you that I am your superior officer? You were, sir. You were. Thank you. Now, Mr. Spencer here will take you to a secure room within this building. We will make you as comfortable as possible. Oh, go to hell. You have no right to keep me here. I suggest you read this. Note the signatures. President. And two prime ministers. I think that gives me all the authority I need. Now, should you wish to call Downing Street to confirm with Washington, or Paris to confirm with Bonn, please feel free. Sir. And that was all that was found in the coffin? 
Forensics have confirmed it's a piece of charred human bone. So if we run a DNA test and the DNA matches the blood in the case... Mr. Keel, if that bone matches the blood, we'd better join the priesthood, because it would mean that Phoenix has indeed risen from the dead. Dr. Masters on V4, sir. Thank you. Yes, Jeff? You owe me one, Malone. I pulled all the stops out on this one. What have you got? You must understand the results are only preliminary. A full DNA profile would take a lot longer. Tell me, Jeff. Please understand this is barely scientific, but, uh, well, yes, it does seem as if the charred bone and the blood share the same DNA profile. I could be totally wrong, but, uh, yes, there is a prima facie similarity. Thank you, Jeff. Is that all? Good night. So, apparently, we have a DNA match. Phoenix, the bird that died in the inferno. <laughs> it rose again from the ashes. Sir, this all started with that million dollars from Libya. The price of a big hit, you said. But why would Libya be paying for what's really a personal vendetta against Forbes, Stryker, and Gaiden? It's a decoy move. Of course it is. The whole damn thing. He did it before in Cairo. He assassinated a whole family when the man he was really after was living in the next street. He fooled everybody then, and he's damn well fooled me now. So who's the real target? VIP itinerary now. Wollstone Chemicals. They got a plant in Libya. No, no, no. It'll be political, not commercial. Indonesian culture delegation? A U.S. senator? Oh, that was Stryker. Sorry, sir. What about a Swedish cabinet minister? Which one? Ingrid Sommelson, finance. Yeah. Didn't she used to be an actress? My dad's crazy about her. Aha! Uh -huh. She's here to rally support for the seizure of offshore Libyan funds. Miss Backus, you are beautiful. So she's got to be Libyan public enemy number one, right? Which is why she's going to be the hit. Minister, this must be something of a sentimental journey for you. Yeah. When the studio invited me, I couldn't resist it. How many pictures did you make here? At these studios, uh, four, I think. Do you miss the glamour? Politicians need to act sometimes. Especially at election time? Now that would be telling. Miss <laughs> Somerson. <laughs> Minister, I am sorry. We have a crisis on our hands. You certainly do. A diplomatic crisis. Please listen to me. How dare you do this to me? How dare you? Someone is trying to kill you. Don't play games, Mr. Malone. Oh, it's not a game. What you have just seen was a charade played out for the television cameras in order to put your true assassin off the scent. What assassin? So, you see, I do need your cooperation. Cooperation? After I have been terrified out of my wits. Minister, a man called Phoenix has been paid one million dollars to stop you from completing your frozen fund campaign. We need to flush him out. If we don't, he will kill you. He will find you and kill you, no matter how long he takes. Now, the only way we can stop that, the only way we can save you, is if you play dead until we find him. 24 hours, I think, should do it, don't you? Mr. Malone, I came here to do something important. Only goes to show how important your life is, Minister. What about my family, my government colleagues? We will take care of them, leave it to us. 24 hours, such a short time, isn't it? It's the only way. Thank you. Miss Backus, please. Minister, please. What next? Well, he'll uh, show his hand, won't he? At least that's what a living man would do. Not what a dead man would do. 
Your guess is as good as mine. Hello, I'm Paul Green. The headlines in London tonight. Earlier today, fantasy turned to fact when Ingrid Summelson was visiting a film studio on the outskirts of London. A film extra stepped out of the crowd and shot the Swedish government minister with a handgun. Early reports say that she has since died. The man was killed with his own weapon during a fight with security men. Saul Winter has the story. Well, what now? Shut up! How was Scotland Yard? Zilch. What are you doing? I'm wallpapering my bathroom. Love the color. Where's Malone? Downing Street. This is everything. From the FBI through Mossad to the Deuxième Bureau. Everything that was ever known, printed, or even hinted at about Phoenix. And? Just one small whiff. Nothing confirmed, nothing definite. But it was rumored that years ago, Phoenix used this address as a safe house. I said it was small. Size isn't everything, Chris. As well you know. Really? Malone was right. You're cute, but you're not that cute. Apartment 102. Don't keep telling me about the old Phoenix. I am Phoenix, and I'll survive always. You're crazy, they'll come after you. You took their money, but someone else got there first. You failed, and they'll kill you for it. Phoenix never fails. Possibly engineered by Middle Eastern factions. That's what it says in the papers. That's my way out. I'll claim the hit. Be a hero. Claim the hit? They'll never believe you. What the hell are they cooking down there? Frog. Why not? Hitman's dead, isn't he? Can't talk. The important thing is, job is done. Ingrid Summerson has been taken out. On my orders. Tell him I set it up. I plan it all. I did what I was paid to do. But who else knows otherwise? Except you. Your turn. You're right. It's clear. Hey, that's a hook me. I'm in the wrong business. According to backup, the owner's a Margaret Llewellyn. Uh, dark hair, about 45. She's still warm. Forget it.
the killing machine he always was. Was or is? DNA. The modus operandi, the photographs, all the same. Oh, come on. How could he have come back from the dead? I don't know, Mr. Keel, any more than you do. But what I do know is that it's our job to catch him. Sit down. Yes, sir. But how? By anticipating his next move. You're a hitman. You've been paid a million dollars to kill Ingrid Sommelson. Somebody gets there before you, what do you do? Get the hell out. Exactly. But now we have the edge. Because this is an island. And we have every exit locked up as tightly as we know how. He knows that. He expects it. Now, we have to start to think like him. Better get some rest. Yes, sir. Too important, just a junior attaché. Shot with nine millimeter Czech ammunition, just like all the rest. And he was a Muslim. So they're flying the body back today. Burying him within 24 hours. Flying him back to Macedonia in a sealed coffin protected by diplomatic immunity. Gotta be worth a try. Oh, yes. He's in there, I'm sure of it. But with all due respect, sir, how could he pull it off? I do not know. A Muslim being returned to his final rest. Sir, we have a delicate situation here. Mr. Curtius, that I do know. Now drive away. Hercules 492, departure details copied, ready for takeoff. Hercules 492, clear takeoff, service wind 
Did you tell him alone? Of course I did. Mr. Keel. Alert Tactical SC. Give them our code. Ask them to stand by. I'll get clearance. Yes, sir. Does this mean what I think it means? You better believe it. Roger control will maintain. Hercules 492, this is a NATO intercept. Alter course to heading 185. Await further orders. Do you copy? Await further orders. I read you. Curtis, do you speak Serbo-Croat? Sir? Your resume states that you have a facility for languages and you spent some time in Bosnia, didn't you? Well, I know a couple of words. But you're a quick learner. This is Hercules 492, finals gear checked. Hercules 492, circuit direction, left-hand pattern for runway 25, QFE 10. Cheese man, what the fuck Name a mozzili dan. Not a master does to achieve your latu. Not a master to learn to do anything. Welcome to the UK, Mr. Phoenix. You can surf on the airfield for hours. It isn't Phoenix. It's his son. Dead ringer for his father, as Miss Backus discovered. Then, of course, you have been working on that, haven't you, Novak? Hair, clothes, even your voice. Hoping to turn your father into a legend? Not hoping. Succeeding. It was a miracle. Like Christ rising on the third day. I removed his remains and scattered them to the winds so the legend could live. It's a legend people want. The miracle. And I've given it to them. And they'll feed on it. And my father's memory will live on forever. The greatest freedom fighter of all time. Freedom fighter? A nasty little man who shot people down in cold blood for a price. What proof do you have? Bring me one witness who's still alive. Go on. Arrest me. Well, there's no need. Someone else is going to do our job for us. Really? Do you hear that? The aircraft is refueling. You're about to take off again, only this time your destination is Libya, Tripoli, to be precise. So? I have friends here. Don't count on it. Ingrid Sommelson is alive and well. In fact, the false reports of her death should be being retracted at this very moment, and that, of course, will make worldwide news. And what will your friends think of you then, eh? You took their money? You didn't deliver, and then you lied to them. They won't be pleased. 
They'll be really upset. They will deal with you in their own way. No. You can't do this. Try us. Well, it's against all principles of justice. Justice? Oh, gentlemen. Your turn. You know, if you hurry, you'll just about catch Miss Sommelson before she leaves. What for? More apologies? No. Her autograph for my dad. Thank you.